What's up guys, Colton That Tech Guy here, and today we have a review of the Airport Express Base Station. Now this is the second generation from Apple, and it's actually the first time that the Airport Express has undergone an actual design change. So it's really not as portable as the previous generation, but it does uh, pack a lot of good specs in here. So we have the latest 802.11 uh, Wi-Fi. Um, so we have dual band N actually, which gives 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz out. Uh, we also have on the back our power brick, as well as our uh, WAN port, Ethernet port, a USB uh, cable for uh, air print, as well as an auxiliary connector for um, AirPlay, and we also have the reset button to restore it back to its factory settings. So let's uh, plug this in for the first time and see how it does. So let's plug the device in. So you'll see uh, when it's booting up, you will have this uh, amber LED light in the front. And then once it starts flashing, that means that you are able to set it up. So the device is now uh, has a flashing light. And the cool thing about the um, any of the airport uh, base stations is that you can set them up on an iOS device. So if you go into your um, Wi-Fi settings, you can see that it now sees my Airport Express and it gives you the option to set up an airport base station. So if you click on that, it'll start gathering information about the Airport Express and then give you several options of what you can do with this Airport Express. So it's just gathered the information and it wants me to create a new network, but I'm not going to be doing that on this one. But then you can also set your network password, uh, network name, your device uh, name, as well as add a password. So let's look at the other options you can do with the Airport Express. So it wants me to make a new network. You can also add to an existing network. Um, and you can also either extend the range or join the network. By joining the network, you get all the uh, features like AirPlay and AirPrint and all that, but it's not necessarily a router. It doesn't um, help your wireless access at all. It's just basically another device on your router. But you can also extend the network if you have another airport base station, which will help the range in your house. You can also replace a base station or restore to previous settings. Um, so I'm going to be joining the network. So it wants me to put in a password, so I'm gonna do that and then get back to you guys. So I just entered a password and now we're going to go to next and it's going to start updating it and eventually join it to my uh, wireless. So let's see how this goes. And the setup is complete, and you can see that now the LED indicator has turned green, which means that it's functioning properly. So let me just show you how AirPlay works on this uh, Airport Express base station. So AirPlay is already set up right now, but all you need to do for it to actually function is plug in an auxiliary cable in the back to any speaker you want to that has an auxiliary cable. And then all you have to do is pull up um, any iOS device or MacBook and you'll see the little AirPlay icon right there. So all you have to do is press on it and then you'll have several options of what you can put it to. So I have my uh, Airport Express right here and then also my Apple TV in my room but let's select Airport Express and now we can play. And you can hear that's now coming out the speaker. So AirPlay is actually a lot clearer than Bluetooth. Bluetooth has a lot of uh, interference with going in and out, but AirPlay is a lot clearer and sounds a lot nicer with Bluetooth, um, at least in my experience. So that pretty much does it for this, guys, with a little demo of AirPlay and also an overview of the Airport Express base station. I definitely recommend picking this up. It has a lot of neat features in it um, and definitely a big improvement over the previous generation. The previous generation had up to 10 users. This has up to 50 users, so definitely a big improvement there. So this is not 
$99 um, on the Apple Store. I'll leave a link in the description as well as a link to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and all that good stuff. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave any comment if there's anything you want to see done on this channel uh, or with the uh, Airport Express. And also subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Okay, guys. See you in the next video. Thanks.